Hello, I am Mrs. V. Tarleton, and today I wanted to help you not struggle with Google Classroom anymore. So this guide is for students and parents. I'm going to show you how to add your classes. I'm going to go over the stream and I'm going to also talk about classwork. We will talk about assignments that are Google Forms, PDFs. What if you get them in their view only? Google Docs, Google Slides. And don't forget to stick around to the end because I'm going to also show you how to upload your own material in Google Classroom. So the first thing you want to do is go to a Google Chrome browser, go up here to the top, your Omnibox, which is your search bar. You want to type in classroom.google.com and that will bring you to your Google Classroom screen. The other option is once you're logged into your Google Chrome, go over here to this waffle. This is your apps. Slide down and find Google Classroom. And that will also take you to your Google Classroom. Notice I have no classes showing yet, but right here you can join your class. Hit the plus sign. Your teacher will email you your class link or your teacher would send you the code. Sometimes some schools actually add the classes for you and all you need to do is click join to add a class. Click the plus sign join a class. Notice this is the name I'm signed in with. Right here, we're going to enter our class code. You go up here, click join class. So here we are now in our Google Classroom. Over here on the top left, if you click on classes, this is where all your tiles of all your classes will be listed if you have more than one. You also have a quick link here for your to-do list that lists everything, all your assignments, and also calendar view if you'd prefer it that way. Let's go back to my demonstration class. So over here on the left side, this is upcoming assignments and when they are due. If you click here, you can see all of the assignments and when they are due. You can also go here and check for missing assignments, and this is where you would see any completed assignment. This is the class I want to go into. First up is stream, the top here. In your stream, this is where teachers will post announcements and very important things. I know for my class, this is definitely where I'm going to post the syllabus, upcoming tests, things like that. Some teachers allow students to also post comments and ask questions in the stream. That's a teacher preference. In classwork, over here on the left side, your teacher may organize it by topics. If they do not, you will just see a running list down the center of all your assignments. If your teacher has it organized by topics, you can quickly go to the topic that you need by simply clicking on the top. So let's go ahead and start with week one. You see we have this assignment. It says to read the syllabus and complete the Google form to confirm you've read it. So it's assigned. We can see the due date. It's due September 21st. So we click on the assignment and here we have the Google form. We would fill that out. Once you've completed the form, click submit. So when I go back into week one, notice this dot that was blue previously, it's now grayed out. That shows you that it's been turned in. You can also click on the assignment and see here that it has been turned in, so you've done that assignment. So let's take a look here, coordinate geometry. This assignment is a PDF form that came to us from our teacher. Because it's not a Google Slides or a Google Doc, it's not listed here. It's over here in attachments on the side. You can click on that. My preferred method would be to open it with Kami. If you don't have Kami, you want to go to the Chrome Web Store and search for Kami for Google Chrome, and you can add that to your Chrome browser. Once you have Kami installed, you will have the option to open it with Kami. So if you click on Kami, open with Kami, Kami is free, and this will allow you to edit the document and write right on the document. You can add text boxes, or you can just draw right on the document.
Once you're done with your assignment, writing on your assignment with Kami, go right here, you can download it. You can save it to your Google Drive. And you're gonna go back into Google Classroom. This is the original PDF. We need to add our PDF. And we saved it to our Google Drive. And you're looking for the one that says Kami Export. That will have your edits on it. I can click on it and open it up. And I can see that my changes are still there. Once you've uploaded your document, go ahead and click Turn It In. Notice my assignment is now grayed out because I've turned it in. Sometimes your teacher may assign you an assignment and it's view only. Let's take a look at that. So here's my assignment. It's come to me. And for whatever reason, my teacher did not give me editing access to this document. What you would want to do is file, make a copy of the entire presentation. You can add your name in the front. That may be helpful so you know that it's your copy. Then you can complete your work on the slides, whether it's adding text, whatever it is that you need to do, go ahead and complete the assignment. Then you're going to go share. You don't want to copy this link because it's restricted. No one's going to be able to view it. So you want to change the settings here. Anyone with the link can view. Now we want to copy the link. Go to Google Classroom. Go to view assignment. And again, we're going to add our assignment. We can either upload it from Google Drive or from the link that we copied. And that will be our edited version. See, it says Sally's copy. Or if you just went into your Google Drive, you can see Sally's copies there as well. And click turn it in. Going back to our class, notice it's grayed out. It's a Google Doc. Let's take a look. It's a little bit different. So we open our Google Doc. The nice thing about Google Docs, you have a turn in tab right here. Click on turn in and it will walk you through the process of turning it in without going back to Google Classroom. So let's go back to our classwork in our demonstration class. Again, it's grayed out compared to the assignments that have not been completed yet. So let's go ahead and take a look at one with Google Slides. View your assignment, you can open the assignment, and you can edit right here. Notice it's not view only, so your teacher's given you editing access and gave you your own slide. When this happens, your name is automatically attached to the name of the assignment. Notice over here when I go back into Google Classroom, that's the updated version that's already in Google Classroom. Once I am done with that assignment, I can turn it in. Also note on any of the assignments, if you wanted to add a class comment, you would do this right here. Remember, this goes to everybody in the classroom. If you wanted to add a private comment to your teacher, you would go right here. If you ever wanted to check on your assignments and see what's missing, what's due, what's coming up, you would go here. Notice this shows all of my assignments when they were turned in. If they were missing, it would say missing in bright red. And it shows the date that they were due. So far, none of them have been graded and returned, and we have nothing missing. So let's take a look at how you would upload some of your own documents. So if there were additional documents that I wanted to submit, I can do that before I turn it in. But what if after I've turned it in, I remembered some additional work that I have? I just go back into the assignment, and I click on Unsubmit. That will take it back so that you have editing access. It's no longer turned in for your teacher. And then you just go right here and you can add 
from your Google Drive, you can add a link, you can add a file if it's saved on your computer, or if you wanted to create something right here, right now, you can actually write out a message in Google Docs, whatever it is you want to do. In this case, I have it saved on my computer, so I would attach a file from my computer. Once my new information is added, then I would return it in. So let's take a look at what happens once the teacher's graded it, once I've turned it in, now what? If you go here to view your work, you can see all of your assignments listed with their grade. Notice this one here has been turned in, but it has not been graded. It hasn't been returned to you. All the others have been graded. You can also see these were the two attachments that you had added. This is a comment from your teacher. You have two comments. One says, nice use of Cami. When I click on the other one, I can see what my teacher has said. Nice work. If I just click here, these are all the assignments that I have not done yet. Here is anything that's been returned to me and this would tell you all of your missing assignments. Thank you for watching. If you found some helpful tips here, please make sure you like, and don't forget to share this to help other parents and students with Google Classroom. Remember, step out, be uniquely wonderful you, and have a great day.